Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take a quick check here on the afternoon high temperatures, which for the most part were a little bit cooler, five maybe in some cases 10 degrees cooler, in some cases only two. Still 80s, Santa Cruz Mountains, a mix of 60s and 70s along the coast. The Coralitas got to 80. Still pretty toasty though. Gilroy, Morgan Hill, mid 90s and an 88 in Hollister. Salinas Valley cracking out the mid 80s to low 90s, 70s here in Salinas and then around the peninsula. It was kind of a mixed bag. A lot of 60s, but Monterey uh, got to 77. So the marine layer was kind of just hugging the beaches here with some fog. So it made a big difference. 65 marina and 89 in Carmel Valley. Rest of the state was pretty hot. 106 in Redding, 99 Sacramento. Nice summer day up in Lake Tahoe, 88 there. 109 Vegas, 110 Palm Springs, 70s and 80s in Southern California along the coast. You can see these clouds billowing up over the Sierra, cumulus clouds coming up, and we'll talk about that in a second. Of course, the marine layer was out here in between the Central Valley, all clear there. Uh, so what's the reason for this? Well, it's that leftovers, the uh, tropical storm Ivo from last week uh, impacting now. And you can see the showers and thunderstorms up over the Sierra with some lightning strikes. Uh, hopefully and luckily no fire start and we'll, hopefully those were coming down with some rain showers in the very high Sierra. They may get some of that north of us, north of the Bay Area and then into Oregon and Washington over the next couple of days. Some of those could be dry lightning strikes, so we'll watch that. Here's that plume of moisture. Again, this is just what's left over from that tropical storm Ivo from last week, but it is impacting. You can see that certainly over the Sierra we've had impacts and as all of this moves into Northern California and Oregon, over the next two days, they'll see some impacts as well. Now we switch gears, get off the East Coast. This is Tropical Depression 6, could end up being Tropical Storm Aaron in a couple of days, so we're watching that. And then now eyes on Dorian, which last night, if you remember, Dorian was going to come through in between Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. It was going to kind of thread the needle on the Mona Passage, but now the forecast has changed because is a little bit further north. It's kind of jogged to the north. Winds 50 miles an hour right now. Watch the track here. Comes up and basically across the southern parts of Puerto Rico. Looks like tomorrow night into uh, Thursday. And then it'll get back over the open waters. Very warm waters out here. You know, 80, 85 degrees. Plenty of fuel here as it comes into the Bahamas. And then we'll most likely uh, be either a tropical storm or turn into a cat one or two maybe as it approaches Florida the weekend. So that would be Labor Day weekend. So a lot of folks may be packing up to leave rather than uh, planning to stay at the beach. So we'll see what happens there. Future cast showing low clouds will be back in for the morning. That's our fog and uh, that'll stick around on and off through the day. So hit and miss again tomorrow with that light westerly breeze. Not a good clearing wind really for anybody. So some fog could linger along some of the beaches. We've got upper 50s to low 60s tonight. We'll put in the fog by the coast, partly cloudy inland. 60s to 70s coast side tomorrow. Again, lingering low clouds, some of the beaches, and then back into the 80s for the valleys. The valleys are slowly cooling off. We'll continue that tomorrow afternoon. Upper 70s in San Francisco, 77 in Oakland, 80s, Las Gatas, San Jose. Santa Cruz Mountains also seeing low to middle 80s, pretty much a summer pattern. 68 Capitola, 64 in Aptos. Looking at the inland areas, the warmer spots, Gilroy, Morgan Hill, low 90s, 70s, Aromas, Watsonville, 65, Moss Landing. Low 90s to upper 80s, King City, of course, warmer south of there, 72 here in Salinas, and a mix of 60s and 70s around the peninsula, 66 seaside, 86 in Carmel Valley, Monterey, 74. Next three days, your case with every eight-day forecast, 60s and 70s by the coast, more or less the same as we go through the end of the week into the weekend with 60s and 70s. Valleys will continue to cool, mostly 70s and 80s by the end of the work week, and we'll stick with that through the upcoming weekend. So most of the heat will be gone by the time we get to Labor Day. Okay. Very All right. Nice. Let's. No.